October 23, 2022, 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint John of Capistrano. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. For the Lord is a judge who is utterly impartial, who never shows partiality to the detriment of the poor. He listens to the plea of the injured party. He does not ignore the orphan's supplication, nor the widow's, as she pours out her complaint. Whoever wholeheartedly serves God will be accepted. His petitions will carry to the clouds. The prayer of the humble pierces the clouds, and until it does, he is not to be consoled nor will he desist and there the Most High takes notice of him, acquits the upright and delivers judgment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. As for me, my life is already being poured away as a libation, and that time has come for me to depart. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come for me now is the crown of uprightness, which the Lord, the upright judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. The first time I had to present my defense, no one came into court to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed for all the Gentiles to hear, and so I was saved from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from all evil attempts on me, and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. He spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being upright and despised everyone else. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself, I thank you, God, that I am not grasping unjust, adulterous like everyone else, and particularly that I am not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on all I get. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again justified. The other did not. 
for everyone who raises himself up will be humbled, but everyone who humbles himself will be raised up. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection The parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector tells us that we cannot pay for even the smallest of graces. Grace is gratuitous. We cannot pay for it, nor we can claim it. Self-righteous behavior can place us in danger of losing everything. Religious practices are not meant to be payments for graces. They are meant to create an adequate disposition to receive graces that are freely lavished upon us by our great and merciful God. The tax collector seems to join the psalmist in asking, If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? He has nothing to claim for. He simply submits himself to the mercy of God. Only humility makes our prayer worthy of acceptance before God. It is humility that enables us to accept and appreciate others. St. Paul says, Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves.